Hey guys, um, I am, you know, I think this, all this, uh, all this, uh, 45 shit has things really, 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 really wacky. For some reason, we couldn't go live on Sheikay Evans, uh, live, so, uh, I, we jumped on mine. So, hopefully you stay in, you know, stay on, um, you can ask questions, um, Sheikay is gonna interview me. Uh, he's an awesome interviewer, awesome person. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. So just stay on, and he's going to hop in, and I'm going to let him in. Hey! Hey, all the beautiful people. Hi, Lalalicious. Look, I'm trying to back up. So you see, I'm trying to keep my screen. This is just so much. Sure. You know, like, where you at? Um, oh, no, here we go. Let's see. What's that? Is that a, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Here he comes, so. What's up, queen? Okay, where are you, though? I can't see you. you can, I can see both of us. You can't see me? I can't see me. I, I can only see me. I don't know what why that is. I don't know. This always happens to me. It's very weird. But um I, so, it's fine. Wait, wait, let me see. Hold on. You, you can you can see me. Everybody, can you guys see both of us? So I need you to come down a little bit because the top of your head is cut off. Is it? It is. Oh my God. Are you serious? I'm looking at myself perfectly fine. Oh, that's probably because I'm gonna have to hold it. What what how, what's happening now? Okay, I see you. Looks like you selfie mode. You look like you're taking a selfie. Well, isn't that what's supposed to be happening? Yeah, I can see you good. I see your face. Oh, yeah. okay. All right, cool. <laughs> but I gotta hold it. I can't be free handed. This is bullshit. Okay, I I hate this shit. I really do. <laughs> Let me just tell you that I really I am not a fan of social media. Like I'm just not. I'm just not. That's just, that's that's just gonna, I'm just keep it. I'm just gonna keep it really gangster. <laughs> I friggin' hate it. But you you know that's what I love about you because you always are frank. You're very frank and I always love it. <laughs> frank sometimes, John. I don't know. What's up, Shike? <laughs> mama, mama, mama. So give me a second. All right. Give me a second to pour into you for a minute before we get started. All right. Um I want to thank you for your energy. You have always exuded nothing but kindness and sweetness to me. And before we even met, we've had deep conversations, and I always liked your intellectuality in your in your mind and how you how you just maneuver and who you are as a person in your heart. And uh, I just want to thank, thank you. you. Thank, yeah. thank you, thank you for that. Yeah. I, I don't take that lightly. Um, I'm thankful. That's a blessing from the Most High. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, so I accept that. I don't know. This lighting. What's happening? Why? No, you look beautiful. No, no, no. I'm just, I'm it's just on Oh, that shadow was happening. Is your it? Hand. Oh, that's it's your hand. Duh. That's, can you, am I still cut off? Because I need to rest my hand. Shit. All right, here we go. <laughs> I knew we were going to be here. I knew we were going to be here. <laughs> anyway, uh, last time I saw you, you were with um, for Teen in Asia at Warm Daddy's. That's the last time I saw you physically. Uh, and you sat. Sang um, a rendition of Casanova Brown by Tina Marie. Oh mm -hmm. my God. Mm, that's my Listen, girl. And, and I just want to let everybody out there know, like I knew Monifa could sing. She, she, she's a powerhouse. But do you know how much talent you have to have to pull off a Tina Marie song? The, Tina Marie has very difficult songs. Yeah, and awesome. Monifa slayed it. Thank she slayed it. And I don't thank think- you. I don't think the masses know that you can sing the way that you sing. No, they don't. They don't. Yeah. Um, I came out, had this pretty, you know, melodic. I had a great tone. Tone, mm -hmm. you know, thank God. You know, I've been, I was blessed with a beautiful tone. Um, thanks, Mom. Thanks, Grandma. Um, and it was very sweet. I think I grew into, you know, um, I, th I think I grew into... Uh, and 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 experience my way into the um 
being um actually tapping into what was was there because i don't think it hasn't been there i think i was i finally tapped into it okay all right you know what i mean no i do I, i'm with you yeah i want to talk yeah. a little bit about the beginning like what, how did you get into singing well because um, you do more than singing right you you're 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 a like a triple threat kind of you you got the moves and you can act i got, and, you I got know, a couple, couple of moves i got a couple of moves i could i could do a lot i could i could dance i wanted to be you know i, I mean you know who didn't want to dance do everything you know janet was one of my faves growing up um um but yes um i started in theater i started in commercials at seven years old so my second grade teacher was my first manager we were doing a class production um, mm -hmm. She was a music, she was an artistic. She liked photography, all that stuff. She actually became like my second, like my auntie. Mm -hmm. You know, she was like a second mom, and um, uh, we had this really, this this, we had this really close relationship. She asked my mom if she could uh, manage me, and she mm -hmm. thought I had a lot of talent. And my mother said, as long as you know, she keeps focused on her work which that wasn't, it was, I was in elementary school. I was a gifted, you know, bright kid. I, I did my work and um, that was the start. You know, I got signed to Mary Ellen White agency at um, almost eight years old. And I started doing auditions and did my first, uh, got my first book, my first it, uh, national commercial for Sassoon, Jenny Dahl um, at what? eight years old. And um, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it's not eight, nine. Uh, so, and can I can I pause you right there though? Yeah, because you're because you're on the circuit, right? And you're you're going to auditions and stuff like that. Are you seeing any of your contemporaries in, out there with you, like oh, somebody yeah. that we um, don't know of? Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Carl Payne, because Carl Carl is from Harlem as well. Carl Payne, mm -hmm. um, from you know from from Cosby Show, mm -hmm. uh, he played Cockroach, yeah, and then went on to do Martin. So he had very two very 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 um. Uh, unforgettable roles mm -hmm. in in television. Uh, so Carl Payne, uh, Tashina Arnold, and Tisha Campbell. Mm -hmm. So those were the people that I saw regularly. Um, you know, Tisha and I were actually up for the same role. I almost got this uh, this uh, uh, what's the name of the damn? Uh, I'm really Rosie. Was this <laughs> off Broadway show? Really huge off Broadway show called I'm Really Rosie. And it, Tisha and I were. Um, I was the last. I almost got it. I had like three callbacks. She was just a little older than me and still, you know, young looking, but a little mm -hmm. older and she got it. Mm -hmm. So it was between us two and she got it. And, you know, I mean, she's an incredible talent. Yes, she is. And um, yeah, so I know Tisha and, and uh, Tashina from that long ago and Carl from that yeah. long ago. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I kind of wanted to like tie those webs together because I don't think people really understand like why you call certain people a legend. Like they're just throwing out the title, but if you haven't put in the work, then you don't deserve the crown. That's how I feel. And you're one of those artists that I feel uh, you get overlooked and you're underrated in some circles, but you're a legend. You've been around, you've done the work. Yeah, I've been around. Yeah, I've been around, man. I did a lot of work on the front end, you know, um, yeah. going in, you know, as I got older and, and got, you know, got my, my deal and got signed. Um, you know, life, you know, life was shaping. I was already a mom, you know, so um, uh, there were a lot of different focuses and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the choices, you know, my choices got, you know, took me to places and didn't take me to places where mm -hmm. I, I probably well wanted to go. Um, I had other things to focus on and then I, you know, I made different choices that led me in different paths that I needed to, that I absolutely had to, you know, experience to be where I am right now. So not upset or, you know, not angry at the journey, right. but it was the journey. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah. Right, Talk to right. me a little bit about like how it was working with the legendary Heavy D. Well, Hev, um, Hev, Hev, woo, Hev was, first of all, I knew Hev socially. Right, because mm -hmm. Mount Vernon, New York, party. So yeah. you know, um, I knew him socially, and um, so we were friends. We were cool. Um, when I got the, uh, I, I was okay. So this is where it started. I met my first manager. Well, my second manager, but first for like recording for singing. His name was Willie Kitchen. I don't even know where Willie Kitchen is right now, but uh, 
he introduced me to Wendy Credo, who was who was an uh, A and R at, at uh, MCA at the time, mm -hmm. and she was putting together a girl group, and I I got the I got the I got the slot, and um, I was you know joined by four other amazing talented women, one that became my you know longtime sister, uh, Free uh, Marie Wright, um, everybody you know her from 106 and Park, and uh, we were in a group together called DSOB, Different mm -hmm. Shades of Brown. So um, that's where Heaven Eyes uh, career, like where we met uh, professionally. Okay. That's how our paths crossed professionally. He, she pulled him in to do our demos. Our, um, we we had a production deal, so he was doing our records for to get us signed to whatever label mm -hmm. we were going to sign to, and right. yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's how that started. And I was late. I was hanging out the night before. I was late. He wanted me to sing lead for that particular song. So he made um, he made a, a Daryl Dio. I can't remember which one. But either D, um, Daryl or Dio, run me around the block and um, <laughs> open me up, you know, open my chords up. And uh, I, sang, I sang the lead for that song. And um, then he was, you know, afterwards, he was like, yo, I want you to do some reference work for me. Mm -hmm. And I said, cool. And I was like, you can get paid from reference work. That's wonderful yeah. while I'm figuring mm -hmm. it out. And um, he hadn't called me. So I'm like, Christmas was coming. Yeah. So I called him. I was like, yo, what happened? I thought you, you know, he was like, oh, man. He was like, yo, things been crazy, blah, blah, blah. He was like, yo, what you doing tomorrow? Come in tomorrow. I was like, perfect. Come, went in. Um, I did the, the, I did a reference vocal for a song called It's All Right for this um, young cat young guy that they had signed, like 15-year-old kid that they were going to mm -hmm. sign to Uptown. Um, Hev winded up giving me the record and telling me to come in the next day. We were going to start my album. One week later, I was signed to the infamous and famous and uber um, uh, well-known Uptown Records. Yeah. Wow. So, yeah, that's that. That's how that there started. <laughs> so That's how so the there started. You, you, you've had a, a nice run. You've had a pretty good career. You made some hit songs, um, and you were out of the limelight for a minute. Yeah. Uh huh. And then, out of the limelight, still was working, but still, I was doing theater. I was at my, I did my first um, urban stage play, which was Men Cry the Dark. It was mm -hmm. Jacarius Johnson's first production. He's gone on to do amazing things. I've worked with amazing, pe a lot of amazing people in there, like. We I've done a lot of firsts with a lot of people who have gone on to nice. just be really great in in their lanes, you know. Nice. So you know, yeah, I've I've, I've worked with some quality folk, you know. Um, I mean, not that everybody's not quality, but you know, some people ain't quality. But then I mean, they do good work, but that don't mean equality. <laughs> I know I got what but, you mean. I got you know what, what you I mean? mean. But um, uh, that I was doing, you know, doing urban, you know, stage plays, and that's how I was making my money, and, you know, just kind of not, I wasn't looking for a deal, um, life was life, and I was dealing with my own, you know, um, existence, right. and how I was, you know, m maneuvering that, yeah. um, working through some of my dark, my dark spots, and, you know, growing up, learning, and figuring it out. But how old up were there. you at the time, like, when it took off for you, how old were you? I was 25. Okay. I was 25. That's still young. That's young for all that to be happening to you. It's a yeah, totally yeah, different yeah. world. Yeah. 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 I mean, I was used to it in a professional capacity, but recording the, the, the world of, you mm -hmm. know, the music business was completely yeah. Yeah. something completely different. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and, you know, navigating that was, was wonderful. And, you know, it was a task mm -hmm. and, uh, I learned a lot mm -hmm. and, um, you know, I got a lot to go on now. <laughs> it's changed a lot, but um, yeah, it it you know it beat me up a little bit because of the decisions I made. I wasn't, you know, to have like um, I was savvy, but I wasn't focused on the business, you know, yeah. of the music. I was just, I just wanted to sing, you know, perform, and yeah. I wish it was that easy. Yeah, and it, you know, and, that's and, not and, all and it thank entails. Thank God you weren't a one trick pony. You had other, you know, other yeah. things in your and, arsenal you can rely on. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Um, for sure, not a one trick pony, but you know, I also didn't, um, I don't know what that's about for me. Um, I'm one of those people that feel like, you know, what's for me is for me. Um, and then, you know, uh, dealing with things, 
in life. I, I just was like, I'm not going to be running down, breaking down doors. Like, I'm just not doing that. When, you know, when I'm ready and when it, ha if, if it happens, it's going to happen. Okay. And so that's yeah. just, yeah. So what was happening? What was going on when R&B Divas came knocking on your door? Oh, oh I was, um, I was, uh, Say I was working with an event band. I was like partnered up with um with a person that I grew up with, one of the first people that I knew that had a record deal. Um, we partnered up with a, an event band. So I was working downtown in the village, um, honing honing my my live show and and you know kind of re falling back in love with music mm -hmm. and performing with you know other musicians and and live live band. Um, that's what I was doing. So I I, I was doing that. I, that's what I was doing when um, R&B Divas, you know, came. I had been working with Nikki here and in on her stuff. And, mm -hmm. you know, we've always kept in touch. We were doing the urban stage plays, which is how we reconnected. And then when she started doing her, her stuff, she would call on me. And that's, you know, so I was doing, doing you know, live theater. I was, you know, I was uh, doing the event event band stuff, mm -hmm. doing weddings, bar mitzvahs, all kinds of stuff like that, doing money for shows mm -hmm. and um, just living, you know, yeah. just living and figuring it out. So the end of RV Divas happens and mm -hmm. I, know, I know that some relationships were fractured. Uh, we don't <laughs> have to go deep into that. But what I did love to see was you and Nikki get back together and have a grown woman conversation. Right, right. Yes. Yeah. Um, and I, I went, got together. Thank you for clarity. sharing that with us. <laughs> yeah. You know, um, it's like when I looked on it, you know, I'm like, you know, I don't know. I know that I, I got clarity for sure. Um, I think um, I think that everybody got what they needed out of that. Um, I got clarity on okay. a lot of things. And yeah, and I and, and I can I I'm good. I'm good now. I got it. Good. You know, I got it. Mm hmm Yeah. So I've heard testify all, all the mixes and my two favorite are the was it the Lats one and the uh DJ Beloved one. <laughs> the favorite. last one was just Philippe, the the Brazilian one? Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, that's yes. Um that's one those those two are my faves too. Yeah. Um Testify. I was just being obedient. And um, I work with an amazing, amazing brother um, who was my little brother. And um, he is he's a renaissance man. And he is always he's he, he's seen me since 2010 when we met. And um, his name is Anthony Giles. And I trust him with everything in me. And um, He's super talented and he believes in me. And he was like, come sing. And I went to his house and I said, okay. I was like, what, what are we doing? Uh, 15 minutes later, we had to testify. You know, wow. he had uh, he already had the, 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 the beat. I think he had the, I think he had the, the hook. And then we just, it, we kind of winged it. I just freestyled that. I mean, it, you know, I just sang from the heart. Yeah. And so you and I, we, we're, we're close in age and we kind of harken back to a time when, you know, the ladies did that. They hollered over, you know, the tribal beats. Yes. And, you know, yes. we danced to that. We got life from that. That was you know, something for our spirit. You take exactly. it to the dance floor and you release it. And, exactly. Um, exactly. That's what that reminds me of. And I thank you for doing that because you, 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 um, you. it's like a beacon. It's like a beacon. Necessary, I guess. That, you know, I think it, it 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 it's out there because it's supposed to be there, right? All I did was I was obedient, and I just showed up. You know, I said I'm not going to overthink it. I'm not going to. And next thing I know, you know, you know, Quantize Records wants to, you know, uh, sign, you know, sign the single, you know, put the single out yeah. to their, you know, label. Why not? It's a single. Let's do it. If you love it, why not? And we did it. And um, I just feel like you know not having to overthink things and um, just doing them because spirit tells, leads you to do it is the way to go for me. Yes. Am I going to work at, you know, making it what it, what it can be? Um, yeah. I see myself in, you know, in all the places, Ibiza, Brazil, everywhere, performing this record and more that come forward. Um, 
I'm not pigeonholing myself. I'm not putting myself in a box. I'm, I sing more than just R&B. And I'm going to put that, I'm going to put it out into the world. Yes. Because I it, I'm supposed to. You know, um, I don't have this gift for nothing. Um, I don't have a fan base for nothing. People don't know who I am for nothing. So, you know, somebody's listening to it. And it's going to continue to flow out of me. Um, and that's that. You know, I got visuals coming. Got a great video. Um, Anthony directed a, an amazing video. And we're just, we're doing this thing. And I'm working with somebody that, you know, um, I'm tired of chasing people. Mm -hmm. And when I, I don't want to, yeah, you know, you, this, and, and, and let me, and let me say this. There have, there are some people that I absolutely love that have absolutely, that I've reached out to and are like, of course, it would be my pleasure. You know, mm -hmm. of course I would work with you. Um, and those, you know, I want to work with people that want to work with me. You know, Anthony has this, you know, saying that, you know, we say we want to be in relationship with people that want to be in relationship with us, period. Yeah. And that's where I'm going. That's, that's what I'm doing. And, you know, and if that's just me, Anthony, then it's just me and Anthony, but you, you know, it's, it, it can be done. And that's not true. We got quads. We got spin DJ spin yeah. shout out to DJ spin for the love for seeing and hearing what testify could be and seeing that you could do something and wanted to get in partnership with us to do it. Um, beloved, you know, my brother, beloved DJ, beloved, amazing DJ. Yeah. And, um, you know, that's my family. So doing things with people that love me and have my back and building with, you know, I want to build with my family, you know, and then, and then we, we go from the inside out, I love not it. the outside in. I love it. Speaking <laughs> of family, like do speak in real life. Speaking of family, <laughs> how's my girlfriend doing? My Amazon. She's wonderful. She's, she's, she's doing okay. Good. She's hanging in there. Good. Yeah. She's doing, yeah. Tell her we're, I we're, we're doing her. okay. Yeah. I will. I think she's on. But I absolutely she? Okay. will. So you at, 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 at some point, at some point, I want to get you two on for my Black Love series. I have a series that I do about Black Love. And I would nice. like to get you two on there to talk about nice. Black Love. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's like, yeah, Black Love is, is real, right? Isn't it? <laughs> black, black Love is, is deep and strong. Don't let nobody else tell you. Don't let nobody tell you nothing different. Right, that part. We're out here loving on each other hard. We are. So, so there's an album in the works or EP. There's a yeah. There's a few things. Um, I'm I have a I have an R&B, R&B, you know, project mm -hmm. that has been ten years in the making that um, <laughs> I'm gonna put out as well. But I'm also gonna put out um, this album. I think it's probably gonna come first. Grace before midnight is the one that Anthony and I are doing. It's just us. Okay. And I'm gonna put that out. I'm definitely putting that out. Okay. So, um, if they're gonna hear some stuff from me. So, Anthony, do you think you found your musical husband? I like when women find their musical husband because that music is dope as hell. Yeah, I think I'm a polygamist, you know, musically though. Um, but yes, he's definitely he's my husband and um, my he's my he's my musical soulmate, gotcha. right? He's like my yeah. <laughs> but um, I think that art, um, you know, you find just like in relationships you know you find things in you know different people you're attracted to things in different people pe different things people bring out different yeah. parts of you as as you do with others and so you know i think it's i think it's very important to to uh, keep that nice and open and free yeah. but yeah. you know anthony is is um is definitely uh he's very important so he's yeah. I think I'm his muse. I think I think I'm his muse. I really that's do. A, I think so. That's, I think that's a couple, great thing. But actually. I know I'm one of them. I know I'm one of them. I think he got one more. But I <laughs> but I know I'm one. <laughs> that's a beautiful thing. Who, yeah, it is. Who inspired you when you were um coming up? Like who did you listen to? Chaka, Dion Warwick, Luther Vandros, uh Tina Marie, and um uh, I'm gonna go further. Um, the Spinners, uh, Ray Goodman and Brown, um, Gladys Knight in the Pips, The Temptations, Diana Ross, uh, Billy Holiday, Nancy Wilson, um, and out of those, Tina was like the one that 
I tried to like, I tried to live life like her lyrics, which probably got me a whole bunch of stuff. I say this all the time, but I'm really, really, I really, really feel like that. That um, I was trying to live the lyrics of a lot of these records, mm -hmm. and um, I wanted to experience life. I wanted these these lyrics move me like that mm -hmm. to want to experience things that I probably wasn't quite ready for. <laughs> um, you know, at such a, a pubescent stage. Yeah. <laughs> You know, but um, nonetheless, here I am, uh, healthy and um, happy and figuring it out. You know, don't know everything. Not always, um, you know, uh, I don't have it all, all figured out, but I'm taking, I take it one day at a time and I'm easy on my spirit. Right. That's, you know, that's but all I can do. have right? it all figured out? You know, we're all human. We're all the yeah. same. I know, but yeah, no, the, the world will try to make you feel like you need to have it all figured out. I've, I mean, I've, I've let go of that, um, trying to believe that lie. And so I'm continuing to unlearn the, 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 the lies that have been, that have been told, right? That's really what growing up is about. Absolutely. Yeah, that's true. You know true. what I mean? It's, it's unlearning. Yeah. Not learning, but unlearning and discovering. So that's, that's where I'm at. Right. I'm doing that wholeheartedly, and I'm enjoying that. I love that for you. <laughs> Thank you. You. But, you know, every time that we talk, we get into some deep conversation. And I remember uh, one of the things we talked about before, we were talking about today's music versus, you know, yesterday's music. And you said to me that it was our generation's duty to be the bridge between old school and new school because we're in the ones that are in the middle. And you said that in some degrees, you believe that we have failed them. Yeah, I think we tried to do too much. I think we we kind of made our kids a little softer than we probably mm. would have wanted to. Yeah. A little bit, just a, just a little bit. Um, but we it's not over. We're still here. We still yeah. have, you know, we still are the bridge. Um, I don't think the bridge has collapsed. I just think um uh now there's a lot of um I think they're doing a good job. I think I think we're doing a good job being the bridges now. I think that we are we've we're learning, we're unlearning enough mm -hmm. to understand some things, to be able to communicate and be um the conduits, right? Yeah. Um for 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 the for the for the bridge to to the things that we grew up on and the things that our parents instilled in us and taught us. Right. Absolutely. Music and otherwise. So yeah. I think we're doing okay. I was a little hard, you know, I was in another space cause I was, you know, getting rid of a lot of things mm -hmm. and I, I was understanding things in, in one way. Mm -hmm. And, you know, life has shown up in another, you know, life has shown up and I, every day creates an, another, you know, oh, you know, way to look at something. So my perspective mm -hmm. has changed on a few things. I love so, that. you know, from 10 years ago, I, you know, I, I look at things a lot differently yeah. than I, you know, now than I did back then. But back then it was, it was necessary. It was what was helping me get yeah. to the next, you know, phase. And on, a, and, and on a real level, I think that people are conditioned to be a certain way due to whatever conditions they have to for survival. So, right. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Yep. That's true. We have to be, we have to know that we cannot be, um, but you can't just, you can't live and die. But certain things you can, you can do whatever you want. But there are certain things that I think that we absolutely have to allow ourselves um, to be o open to, um, for to have another perspective. Yes. And and yes. and as far as humanity is concerned, I think that's one of the when it comes to humanity, um, I think that we have to remain fluid and open and um, yeah. compassionate. And, I, and and one of the things that I think that actually gets that started a spark at least is traveling traveling abroad and seeing how other people live it that's that is true spark it. that is a huge huge yes it is because when you're stuck on the four corner, corners of the block or of wherever i don't care mm -hmm. what it is i don't care if it's up echelon or from the you know the most um whatever right you mm -hmm. that's you only have one perspective and you only you 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 can only you can only um relate from one realm of experience and so true. if you don't see how other people live so and true. then see the, the the differences and the similarities mm -hmm. then you're 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 just you just have no you have you you think 
your way is that's it you think that's the only way you yeah. can't relate you can't have any empathy you can't have compassion you can't say oh my way is not the only way it's okay it doesn't threaten my right. way you know I, exactly. just, I think if we yeah we stop feeling so damn threatened i think yeah. we'd be okay see i told y'all she was dope she's so deep <laughs> I right, chop, chop. <laughs> D chop, please. <laughs> I just listen. I just know what's true for me. I know what what I'm shown. I know what comes up for me. That's all. That's all I can do. Okay. Is okay. is understand that you know? Yeah. So or, or not try to figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do with you what I do with all of my. Uh, guests on my platform uh -huh. and i believe in manifestation and calling right. something into existence or to your space right. and just speak it right. think it speak it all of it it's we're very powerful that way so we have to what is that. that uh monifa is looking for from the universe hmm looking for from the universe I'm not, I don't know if I'm looking for anything from the universe. The universe gives what it is supposed to be given. And um, I, uh, for me, I just, I just, I just want to elevate. I want to continue to be the best person I can be in this realm, in this, mm -hmm. in this skin mm -hmm. and, and learn as much as I can um, be as, um, use it in the purpose that I was brought here for. Right. I don't always, I don't think we always know exactly what that is. I think you just move, right? And then things feel like they make sense, right? And then you're being used in your purpose, yeah. right? I think we, people are like, oh, you got to find your purpose. No, you just got to move. Yeah. You just got to, you just got to move. Because your purpose will you find move and you be if you're in the right space. And ask for discernment. Yeah. Huh? I said your purpose will find you when you're in the right space. And you'll Correct. know it because you'll and feel it. Correct. You just right. We're not supposed to know everything, right? You know, um, we're not supposed to know everything, and and even spirituality, um, and and learning, it's you know there is a there is there's darkness there. It's not all light and positivity. Like learning, you know, learning about and 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 growing and elevating in this universe and becoming, um, um, and and showing up in your purpose and doing those things when you're actively seeking that and that's not always you know gumdrops and flowers right it's some dark spaces there you know and you start to see things for what they really are and managing that is not always the easiest you know what i'm saying because that's things right. have to happen things have to happen for for things to evolve yes and elevate yes there's a lot of things that have to happen that are not easy to to be a part of to Especially see we're when, watching we're watching it play out right now yeah we're watching people die and children we're, we're we're being a part we're a part of indirectly um and 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 i pray a lot of us not wanting to you know we're part of a, we're watching genocide happen on in a lot of different corners of the world it sucks it really sucks and it's not easy to just that's not something that I don't think about every day. I right. pray, you know, that I know that there is, there is something just have to happen. And that's not just to say, oh, and just, you know, that's not, right. it's not being cavalier about right. it. That's just real. That's, that's real. Yeah. And managing it, it doesn't mean that you, you still don't, you, you don't try to be a part of the solution. It doesn't yeah. mean that you don't, don't have courage to stand up and speak what you believe. Right. And what you when you see wrongs happening, because oh, ultimately there's going to be an action that triggers the change. For sure, for sure, mm -hmm. for sure. And yours, and and how, how I'll be it. Everything doesn't have to be a huge action. Like it's the yeah. little, it's the, it's the, it's so many of us, and so much energy in this world that I'm sorry. There's so much energy, and if we just the little things that we do, it matters. It does. it does matter. And I and I and, and that is what I've stopped. Everything doesn't have to be this big on this big stage and you know, you have to be the one and da da da. 
It's things that actions you take, lighting a candle, saying a prayer, having a ritual um, about certain things that you believe in that you want to yeah. see change in this world is a, is enough. Yeah. Your attention, your your heart, you know, your mind space. Yeah. It's enough. Yeah. You know, shout out to a lot of people that I see. I just want to, you know, I want to, I, I just want to shout out a lot, all the people that, um, in my opinion, are just, you know, well, one of the people, because there's a few, I don't know all their names, but one in particular that I, that I rocks with, like Amanda Seals. I love, you know, I love watching her. You know, I know she, people, a lot of people have a lot of opinions or whatever, mm -hmm. um, but I appreciate her. Um, I appreciate appreciate her. I appreciate yeah. how she uses her, her platform. Yeah. And it makes me go, you know, dig up and research more. And it helps me be a lot aware of what's going on. Mm -hmm. um, and um, where I might not be, because I'm not watching the news every day. I right. just can't do it. I can't do it. My, my soul just, you know, so I get a lot. I, I take everything, you know, I piecemeal it. I know what, I know what's happening. I'm, I'm aware. I don't, you know, um, over saturate myself with it, right. but I am aware aware enough to make the contribution to help the change and be the change that I want to see, you know, be a part of it for sure. That's what's up. I love that. It's, it's crazy out here. We gotta, we yeah. gotta make sure we keep ourselves, um, healthy, uh, because you really could, it's really, it's really tough. I mean, you know, some days I don't, I'll just, I'll just lay down, like real talk, just be like, I'm not getting up today. Just not doing it. Like, I'm just not doing it. I can't, like, this is what's happening. I, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take a break and I'm gonna, you know, um, I'm just gonna, I must, I must be one with me yeah. and God and just, just relax. You know what I mean? Yeah. And just not do anything. Sometimes you got to take those, yeah. those beats. Man. There's been moments where I've just like put my head down and just went through the ritual of life mm -hmm. just because mm -hmm. I didn't want to deal with it. But then you got to bring your head up every now and then because you oh, got to yeah. know what's going on. Oh, oh, for sure. Oh, for sure. But you got to take, don't let the, the capitalist um, messages tell you that you just got to keep going, 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 going. That's a slave mentality. And, you know, we, we have to, that you're not worthy if you're not going, going, going. You have to, you have to re up. You have to, you have to get strong. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? And being, you know, being productive, resting is part of success and being productive. It's, it's true. Yeah. Without it, there's no, there's no such thing as productivity or success. Fun question. Do you, do you take offense when people call you auntie? No. Okay. No, no, no. Uh, no. I've I know some women can do. I know, I know. I'm not everybody's auntie. Like, I don't like uh, nobody. Like, I'm like, girl, we the same age. Like, people like, I grew up together. Like, we grew up together. <laughs> Sometimes I look at people like, girl, or dude, like, seriously. But, like, um, no, I don't take offense to auntie. I'm not everybody's auntie, okay. though. Yeah. Gotcha. I'm not everybody's auntie. I love that. I'm not everybody's auntie. Yeah. Because some people use it to, 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 to um uh some people say it as a as, as a derogatory or, or a way of shading and aging a ageism you know um and that's that's so weird to me because in every other culture when they say auntie it's revered it's like you're my mm -hmm. mother's sister or you're my father's mm -hmm. sister like you're a queen auntie. yeah exactly yeah but some people are like oh i like oh she you know she oh you know she you know and i <laughs> okay girl looking like you know looking like you know, um, like I could be your 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 your, your sister, your younger sister. These children out here are looking rough. Some of them, not all of them, but you know, some no, of these youngsters are a little rough. You're crazy. You still uh, <laughs> you still being funky, Brewster? Like your sense of style is like crazy. I'm just yeah, I'm just me. I guess I'm you know, I guess I I don't even know. Who the hell could we possibly call him? Probably some state, whatever. But um, uh, yeah, I'm still me. I still dress how I dress, you know, sweatpants and heels, and you know that kind of shit. Yeah, I love it. I love, yeah. love it. Oh, 
Really? <laughs> like, that's so funny. Yes, I still have a house phone. It doesn't matter because it's still, uh, what's the face? It's still like, it's still, um, it's not analog. It's not like, it's, it's, it's electric. I don't even know why we still got it, but for some reason, it's a red thing. And somebody we, actually called it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But that's probably like one of those, um, like, you know, like a, from the county or something. Okay. You know, <laughs> so you give me some information because nobody has my house number. Nobody called my house. <laughs> Mo, so I love funny. you, sister. I'm not going to keep you. Um, All right. Make sure you save this since we couldn't do it on my page. Make sure you save this so I can rip it from you. Yeah, I'm going to, I'll send it to you right away. I'm going to make sure that I do this properly and slowly. <laughs> and I just want to say thank you to everybody for tuning in and make sure you go over and give Shike Evans a follow. <laughs> Um, uh, he's amazing, uh, an amazing spirit, and um, he has great people on his platform. He, what is happening? He has great people on his on his platform. So go over, give him a follow. Thank you for um staying on and hopping on, and um tuning in. Um, uh, blessings. Anything I you want to say? You, sis. Okay. Uh, Absolutely. thank you everybody for coming in. Uh, please go follow me and find the YouTube page, Conversations with GK Evans, and subscribe. Thank you. Peace out. Bye. Good night, guys. <laughs>